Oh, there. What about these guys? These guys. Okay, they just started. How did this queen get to e3? Why is she on e3? I guess she came there. Let me let me go through this game real quick. Let's see. C4, e5. How did this come about? Oh, trickiness. Okay, we give a check. The bishop locks. This is very awkward. So this is where we are. Live right now. Waiting for white's move. Um, okay, white has some space advantage. Doing well to control that d5 advance. Also, this f4 advance is a long way off, I think. Well, maybe not. I guess you could get in g5, f4, but that's a very committal move to run forward with. I'm liking the white side here. Very nice coordination. Looking to just get the rook on d1, maybe even a, a c5 break. If you're playing on the black side, definitely look into this potential pawn break, c5 being the one. Rook a to d1. Do you kick this knight away? Playing h3, the knight's going to have to run to an awkward square. And wasn't there a fork opportunity that both sides missed, as well as uh, me? And there's another fork. <laughs> Tricky forks everywhere. Actually, yeah, knight takes here. I second-guessed myself for a second. I thought after knight takes, there was bishop takes, and the king would have to recapture, and there'd be a queen check on c6. Not the case, though. The knight could have been recapturing, so... A couple forks missed by all three of us. All three of us. Both players and Kibitzer. So this is still a problem here, and this is going to be a giant problem. Really should not allow a knight to get to e6, but he's going to get there whenever he wants. You can't stop that. Um, pile up on the weak link. c7 is the weak link. I'm pretty sure we are balanced with material. Get out of this pin. E3 is okay. You weaken these light squares, but you have this unopposed light square bishop. This knight is still in a pin. I would have really considered just E3 right away. Still can't move. Still can't move that tricky knight. Now we're having E3, so maybe this queen move is looking for the A7 spot. Okay. Knight F6. Keep him central. 20 second advantage for white. Opposite the queen, knight f3 is the threat. Knight f3 is the threat. And we're going to have three minor pieces versus the queen battle. I still like white. Whoa. This is rare to see the three minor pieces versus the queen. g5. Keep things closed. Very good. Don't open up the position. Don't open up any files for that queen g6 might be a way to break open the king position this pawn is a is a weak link these minor pieces have great coordination pawn push this diagonal is now wiped or uh, just a clear view g7 h8 this knight j could jump in right here i guess the queen is looking for a4 to get active in some way bishop f6 has to be very annoying there might be an idea of king g2 and getting the rooks over on this side with the potential knight sack on g6 that might be the way to go. There's no way to really even get at that king. It might be the undermining of the knight with c6. Okay, the knight is falling. The knight is falling, or is it? No. Well, there was an opportunity to just grab that knight, wasn't there? Or was there this in-between shot? It might have actually still worked for white if the knight was taken with uh, c takes b. Anyhow, this pawn is still hit, and now he is falling. And now there are pins. That's, that's a lights-out move right there. That is GG. That is good game time. Shake hands, do another. Keep the pinned. Keep the rook pinned here. No need to take a pinned piece. Exchanges, mate threat coming up, a mate and two threat. Rook is powerless. Very difficult to get out of this. The queen has to run back here. No good solution. Bishop e6, hit the queen, and now rook c8. Very nice. Very nice. We're going to have resignation. Resignation? Are we going to have? Oh, no. Are, are, we, are we witnessing a clock ticker? No, we're not. Oh, another request is out. Yes. Okay. We'll watch this game, and then I'll get doing a game against uh, somebody that's in the cafe. So, Sicilian Grand Prix attack. <coughs> Isn't this uh, the wrong move order? Supposed to go with first uh, knight c3 to prevent that d5 advance. 
I could be mistaken. But I, I'm always thinking that it's uh, you do knight c3 first and only then create that pawn duo. Okay, we, we're not having that. So white was able to break up that group of two pawns and now it's black that has a space advantage. Not able, white is not able to get in d4. Bishop g7, of course. Rook to d8 is purposeful. This queen, white is still trying to get in that uh, Grand Prix stuff. That queen jumping out along this diagonal with the pawn push, but it's it's not the same. It's definitely not the same without that e pawn involved, right? Yeah, it's definitely not the same without that e pawn involved. Okay, so now it's black that's going to have that c pawn. What's with these c pawns coming under fire in both games? So far, that c pawn was getting hit a bunch. Interesting. Is f5 a possibility? Just to undermine this c3 square. Very committal move. That knight is maybe getting to e6. If f5 is played knight g4 to e6, could be very annoying. So maybe these are uh, some thoughts white is uh, running forward with, or, or black is running forward with. Is it worthwhile to create that weakness on e6 just to grab on c3? Or maybe there's no hurry. Maybe it's okay to do something like b5 and you know, basically say this pawn is going nowhere and maybe then something like h6 to keep the knight out of g5, okay? Rook f6, logical enough, preparing to just double up on c3, that is the weakness. In both games, the, the c pawns were coming under fire because of the, the opposing pawn. On, in that last game, there was a white pawn on d5 and it was stopping that advance from coming in successfully. And just uh, a few moves ago, there was a black pawn stopping the white pawn from getting to c4. Okay, so queen h4, I guess knight g5, but is that really a serious threat? c3 is falling. In the meantime, knight g5 could be met with h6. Checks on d4. This is quite all right. Oh, there is no h6 anymore. Hang on. Hang on, there's a queen check. Queens could come off, and then there's no attack. And if there's no attack, this is a this is a lights out move. Look at, very nice. Get the queens off and the exchange. That's game over. Okay, uh, that is all. These guys are gonna still go at it, but I am done uh, kibitzing for right now.